Hello, my dear friends, Roman is here. Today I want to share how we can make an iChrome chrome cutter. First, we need to make two wooden handles. In my case, I used two pieces of a branch. Then we need two long nails or two pieces of thick wire, about a meter of copper wire, and also some nichrome wire, 0.4.8 mm thick. You may find it on the markets or in dedicated boiler shops. Also in old heaters. And of course a power supply. We are going to use one from a PC. They cost from $10 and higher, or for second-hand ones even less. Maybe you have one lying around. So, let's start assembling. First, we need to prepare the wooden handles. If the wood is soft, we can use a nail to make the hole. But if it's firm, we better use a drill. Now, pass the wires. Then we take our pliers and bend four rings to prevent the wires from slipping off. Let's move on to the power supply. Choose any yellow and black wires, cut them off and connect them to the main wire. Now isolate them using duct tape or shrink tubes. We get 12 volts and about 8 amps. To be sure, you may look at the numbers on the power supply or measure it with a multimeter. Also, the power supply won't work by just plugging it in. You may install a switch on old models, connecting the green wire with a yellow or black one. For newer power supplies, we can turn them on much easier, shirting these two wires with a clip for a split second. Well, now is the most important moment. We need to choose the correct length of the nichrome wire. There is a formula for calculating the correct length and thickness of the wire, but it also may be done by a rule of thumb. We connect plus to one end and approach with a minus from the other end, until the wire starts becoming red, otherwise you take a risk of overloading the power supply and overheating the wire. Then we bite the wire with nippers here and connect it to the rings of the wooden handles. Polarity doesn't matter in this case. That's all, our nichrome cutter is ready. As you see, the box is small and doesn't occupy much space, it may even be portable. If you want, you may remove all the unnecessary wires and set a small switch. With the help of such a cutter, you will be able to cut beautiful frames, cut foam and make a lot of nice and interesting stuff. I'd like to suggest you not to use a very thick wire, because it overloads the power unit. But that's all for now, thank you so much for your attention. Let's do a test on a wooden brick. Until then, see you in the next one.